Hi, my name is Jeff Lindsay, one of the authors of Conquering Innovation Fatigue, a new book out by John Wiley and Sons, written by Jeff Lindsay, Cheryl Perkins, and Makund Karinjikar. Today we're talking about innovation fatigue and what it means for organizations. Many times a corporate research or new product group will be like these aluminum cans, crushed, spent, empty, bent out of shape, deformed, twisted, and good for nothing, so it seems, except to be recycled or thrown away. When it comes to human resources and intellectual capital that's in, built into your organization, that's unfortunate. And we would suggest there are better ways to deal with this kind of innovation fatigue rather than just get rid of your organization or recycle it in some other way. If you understand the reasons why your organization became crushed, twisted, warped, and less functional, it may help you to find energizing factors that can breathe life back into your organization. <sighs> sort of like that. That didn't breathe much life in, but there are a number of steps you can take to restructure, reorganize, and re-energize your research community that can work almost like, management, like magic to help round things out, flesh out your organization, and get them back to that bubbly, energetic state they used to be in. One of the key factors is rebuilding the bonds of trust between your innovation community, your product development team, your research group, your marketers, rebuilding the trust. A key chapter in our book is called Breaking the Will to Share, with, of course, advice on how to rebuild that will to share. This refers to the sense of loyalty, connection, and commitment that a group has to the purposes and objectives of the organization. Many unseen, subtle, easily overlooked fatigue factors can stand in the way. What we're trying to do here is slowly re-energize this can so that it no longer is crushed, hollow, and empty, symbolic of adding energy to your research community, to your product development group. And if you do this right, and we're trying our best here, what was once crushed, insipid, suddenly takes on new meaning and potentially new flavor. In fact, two magic words might help us at this key junction, open innovation. Let's open it up and see what happens. Ah, sweet. And uh, just so you can see, of course, we don't want to waste our resources that way. We want to use them more efficiently, but this is a lovely can of refreshing soda.